I'm Sean McGrath, founder of WideAwakeNews.com, host on the Rinse Radio Network. The president came out today talking about ending the combat mission inside of Afghanistan. Um, 9,800 troops will remain there in next year, 2015. 9,800 troops. What happened in the last region of the world that we destabilized in, in the name of prosecuting a war on terror inside of Iraq? It had nothing to do with the 9-11 attack. Yet now we have a region that hundreds of people are dying every week because of the absolute chaos uh, that that nation turned into after our end of combat missions. What do we have for it? We have the largest embassy in the history of the world, some 15,000 employees inside uh, the embassy in Iraq. So we get lip service when we're leaving Iraq that the combat mission is over, just like we're getting uh, inside or out coming outside uh, talking about Afghanistan, 9,800 troops. And it isn't good enough. It isn't good enough for the war hawks, the ones that are serving corporate special interests, the military and security industrial complex, the Lindsey Graham and John McCain's of Washington, D.C., are all up in arms because it's irresponsible for us to withdraw troops after we've been there for over a decade, a, nation, a, a country in Afghanistan where nation superpowers go to die. Our nation is bleeding to death prosecuting this never-ending war on terror. And what's it cost us just inside of Afghanistan? If you look at Harvard Kennedy School uh, of Government, if you even believe that conservative st statistic, $6 trillion is what we spent. This is just the monetary aspect of it. Let's not talk about the thousands of coalition troops who are dead, the scores of thousands that are coming home missing limbs or mentally broken, or the nationals of Afghanistan, the thousands that will never know innocent women and children, innocent uh, Afghan citizens dying while we prosecute drone strikes uh, throughout the country. It's absolutely insane that we, that we are over a decade in Afghanistan. So many of our men and our women coming back shattered and we're placating to an audience trying to tell them that hostility combat operations are over with only 10,000 troops on the ground? This is complete and utter insanity. Six trillion dollars spent. Just so you want to do the pencil out the math on that, $75,000 per man, woman, and child prosecuting a war on terror inside of Afghanistan that's lasted for over a decade and we're getting a bunch of garbage out of Washington, D.C. that it is over because we're going to be down to 9,800 troops. We, we've destabilized Iraq. We've destabilized North Africa. We've destabilized Afghanistan. We're on the march to help destabilize Eastern Europe. It's time to wake up and realize that all this stuff, all, this, all these lies, all this agenda happens in our name, and we must demand a halt to it now. Bring back our men and our women. Quit destroying our future, prosecuting a war that is a lie. Stories are attached. That's all I got.